Harold, this is um, our regular uh, Jenkins governance meeting. This is uh, the second time we do it uh, in uh, Zoom. Usually we do it in RC, but uh, we are testing other communication channels. Uh, today is May 6th and we have uh, six Jenkins contributors on the call. I'll share my screen uh, to show the agenda. Uh, okay. So we have a number of uh, regular topics, including news, um, and uh, there was a number of approval requests uh, regarding um, other programs. So I suggest we just uh, go through the entire agenda, uh, unless there are other topics to be added. Okay, and the first item for us is um, LTS baseline selection and the backporting process. Oliver, would you like to speak about that? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Um, uh, so um, there's a pull request. Let me see if I can put it into the document. Uh, we have switched to the new approach lately. So the, um, there's a pull request link as soon as I find the, find uh, the agenda. Uh, pasting it right there. <clears throat> so there is a pull request when we have done all the backports that are currently planned for, you know, to be backported in, in this line. Is there a reception of folks seems to be good. Um, Jesse's got some good points, so I've adjusted that. There's a couple of things that haven't been reported into the last one, therefore into the whole line. Um, so this is something I'm happy with. <clears throat> I just noticed that there are tests failing, so uh, I would have to look at that and see, see where that goes. But this is something that I'm happy and um, uh, there appears to be a consensus about that. So I suggest that uh, we would check whether we are okay with um, what's in, what's out, uh, make the decision as a part of this document, and then we can follow up and, uh, you know, iron out the, the failing test for whatever reason. And I guess we're, I mean, unless there are objections, uh, I would be pushing it out as a release candidate tomorrow. I think it's perfectly fine um, if we get to the test at least. Sorry, I uh, didn't review it yet, but it looks good overall. So all the major changes uh, which were marked are included, and we don't have anything critical. What oh I yes, uh, I guess this is quite quite dense. So very briefly, there was quite of uh, you know several isolated changes. Uh, mm -hmm. They were mostly backported. There were the one with the, with the breadcrumbs and header that's fairly recent, so it wasn't backported. And there was also the part with the, basically everything around the read-only configuration screens that was backported. Yeah, that's great. Also, we have one fix uh, for Jinx configuration as code plugin, especially for users who align it with Ruby hooks. Uh, which, yeah, we hit it um, uh, at least once uh, in production. So it would be really nice. And yeah, obviously WebSockets uh, fixes. So thanks for doing that. Yeah, I will be deploying the RC on my instance as soon as the RC is out. Okay, any other comments, feedback? So my, my question was more related to the LTS, new LTS baseline selection. Um, Oliver, is that, that settled on 2.235? The, the backporting, I think the process is working great. That feels really good to me. Um, and, and delighted that Jesse detected the one gap that he found. That's really good. Uh, back, the LTS selection, you're okay with 2.235 or is that selection still process still in, in play? Is that decision not yet final? All right, that, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good point. We had a tendency <clears throat> to close this on, on, on these meetings, so I'm quite not sure if we're following that or not. Uh, yeah, I suggest to Aaron Dow that uh, in the mailing thread as we go, I guess it was suggested a couple of times, I just failed to actually do that. Um, so yeah, I, I'm okay with the selection based on what the discussion ended last time. From what I see in the developer mailing list, uh, everybody is basically on board. Uh, so it's either 2.34 uh, two, uh, two or 35. So, yeah. 
I think that if you are also unlocked with that, we can just uh, say that it's a decision. Yeah, I've been, and I've, I've put 2.235 into my environment for immediate tests, trying to expose it to my normal use, assuming that it was going to be chosen. Mm -hmm. No surprises yet, but I'll keep testing. And I think 2.35 is much better than 2.34 uh, because we have a fix for the uh, warnings plugin and the new u user interface. So it would be helpful if we have the 3.5 and not 3.4. I agree. Yeah, no objection. I mean, one of the critical fixes in 35 would definitely have to be backported, the breadcrumbs one. Uh, but yeah, no objections for me. Mm -hmm. So basically, you make the decision, Oliver. You prefer I, this version, uh, you will just support this decision and roll with it. So I decided that we go with 235 then. Okay. I need to enjoy the, the feeling, right? Well, I definitely enjoy that. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, we can finally uh, communicate this decision. And yeah, thanks a lot for that. Okay, anything else about the baseline and uh, backporting? I think I'm done except for that. So thank you very much for Oleg and Daniel. They both contributed a lot to the last update of the process. So it was very, very valuable. We re revived it after a couple of years. So that was definitely, uh, definitely good. And basically everyone who puts time into testing and reviewing this pull request. So it's very appreciated. I mean, it turns out that a single pair of eyes can make many mistakes, especially those are my eyes. So this is, this is definitely crucial. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm delighted with, with the process you're using. Thank you very much. Uh, that's, that's really great, Oliver. Thank you. Well, keeping the process going. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Yeah, sorry, that, that was all for me, sorry. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. And yeah, we have six weeks until uh, this uh, LCS is out. So more time for testing. Okay, uh, so Next uh, subject is uh, Google Summer of Code. So we have already discussed it uh, at a couple of meetings, uh, but uh, yeah, we had uh, all the projects um, announced. So this year we will have seven projects. Six uh, will focus on Jenkins. Uh, one will focus on Jenkins X. So Jenkins uh, projects include custom Jenkins distribution build service. Uh, the topic we heavily discussed at the um, uh, Contributor Summit in Brussels uh, in February. Then external fingerprint storage, continuation of our pluggable storage stories, so Git plugin performance improvements, uh, GitHub checks API for Jenkins plugins. Uh, uh, Uli, who is on the call, uh, he's a deep mentor in this project. Also machine learning plugins for data science and uh, Windows services uh, with YAML configuration support. So these are six projects. Uh, we have already added uh, these six projects to the Jenkins roadmap because all of them have been considered uh, important. I'm not sure whether the website has already been updated because I merged this change maybe 15 minutes ago. Apparently not. Uh, but yeah, once uh, the build completes, we will have uh, these items on the roadmap as well as uh, other projects like, for example, uh, REST API um, uh, specification generator on future topics, because we would like to eventually have them. So hopefully by the end of this meeting, we will have a new roadmap here. And yeah, today we had a welcome meeting with all JSOC uh, students and mentors. So I will publish a recording for tonight and everybody is welcome to watch it if you want to see more details. Any comments, questions? Okay. I guess not. Okay, uh, then mm, uh, let's roll forward. So roadmap updates. 
uh, for roadmap. Yeah, I guess uh, roadmap still hasn't been updated uh, yet. Um, uh, there were some look and feel improvements. I'm also working on uh, filtering of the stories. Content-wise, uh, we have uh, added uh, JSOC uh, stories to the roadmap. We have also updated uh, um, uh, marketing and outreach programs. So for example, here now we have new Jenkins online meetup platform, which is basically release. Uh, Jenkins is the way program, which has been announced last week. Um, and yeah, we've already got a lot of stories. Uh, so Alisa, if you would like to briefly share the status, it would be nice. So yeah, we have it later today anyway, right? Yep, okay, okay. Um, thanks Ole. Mm -hmm. Uh, so just to give some context, so last week um, we posted this blog uh, to announce the initiative that we are collecting um, Jenkins user stories. So basically in the past, we, we, the, there was some um, bad uh, blogging or, or blogs that, are, that does not put Jenkins in a very good light. And so then the, the thinking behind this initiative is that um, to combat that negativity that we would showcase all the wonderful things that people are doing with Jenkins. Um, and the other thing we wanted to do was hoping that these stories will inspire people to, you know, mimic or learn from these stories. So, um, so that's the context of this, this initiative. Um, so, so far before, the pro before we rolled out this um, initiative, we, we worked on about six user stories and two case studies. And um, since the release of this blog, which was last Wednesday, so, so far we have received 20 new submissions. So 20 new user stories um, and then I think there's about um, another 20 that's still being in the works, but they haven't completed. So what we will do is take those stories, turn them into user stories, and then for stories that are really compelling, we want to turn them into a, an actual case study. So a user story is an abbreviated version of a case study. So we wanna continue this program um, for as long as we can. So I'm, I'm, my plan is to keep this going for, um, for this whole year and see what we can get. Um, and then, you know, from that point on, the, there's going to be a ton of good content that we, we can make available to the community. So we'll figure out what we will do next. But right now, we're, we just want to collect as many of these stories as possible. So then that leads to Mark's uh, question that the next question on the agenda is about the Jumbotron. So I'll leave that to Mark. Yeah, uh, uh, I think we can uh, get there maybe in a few minutes so that okay. uh, we finish the roadmap. Okay. Uh, thanks uh, for the overview. So other thing we added um, is basically um, a new online meetup platform. So basically it's a tooling for Jenkins online meetups. I plan to post a blog post, but now we are capable of running, uh, uh, well, basically any number of meetups uh, we can support. Thanks for continuing to continuously refundation uh, for sponsorship. And uh, we have already uh, practiced uh, this platform with uh, Jenkins on Kubernetes online meetups. So we had two meetups uh, with hundreds of participants. And we plan another one uh, to next Monday, and we will have more meetups announced soon. So uh, these stories are completed, well, completed at least they're there. Uh, there is also we awesome. started this discussion about Jenkins UI UX hackathon. So it also happens uh, within the Jenkins is the way program. Well, at least we try to align because of the time frames overlap, and also we have an opportunity to facilitate. Um, uh, user stories about user experience and also um, UI changes and documentation improvements. So I think that it could be a good program. So it's uh, under the discussion. Tomorrow we will have a discussion at the focus and outreach seek meeting, but uh, generally it goes well. And yeah, there is a lot of other stories, but yeah, everything else has been added before. And yeah, we applied to Google season of docs 2020. So in one week, we should have uh, results about that. And now we are waiting. I'll try to refresh the roadmap. Uh, yeah. 
So once uh, JSOC changes are integrated, we should have a lot of uh, additional items here for tool and service integration section. Um, and right now it's uh, the weakest uh, section, I would say. At the same time, it's uh, the most important one because yeah, this is people, what people expect from Jenkins. So if anybody has any ideas about uh, uh, projects and initiatives we could add there, uh, please uh, submit your pull request because it would be really helpful to grow this section. Uh, right now it should be around uh, six items there after adding JSOC. Okay. Any questions, comments? Sounds good. Um, just, just one question about uh, 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 Jenkins is the way uh, and mm -hmm. JSOC, I guess, simultaneously. Uh, JSOC has seven projects inside, including Jen Jenkins X. And my understanding, Jen Jenkins X started as a sub project of uh, Jenkins, but mm -hmm. yesterday there was a webinar by Jenkins X maintainers, they mentioned it has nothing to do with Jenkins, Jenkins X version two. So uh, I wonder how it is a relationship of Jenkins X to the Jenkins is the way. If there is a good story on Jenkins X, we will be included in uh, Jenkins is the way or no. Well, if there is a good story on the uh, a user story on Jenkins X, we'll, tef we'll definitely take it as well. We won't say no to that. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, maybe on different platform. I guess it's subject for yeah. discussion of when it happens. But definitely, if we get a story, we will try to get it published somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. And I think we can uh, just switch to Jenkins this other way then. Uh, so uh, I guess we have two items to discuss today is whether we put it on Jumbotron and uh, whether you want uh, to change the Twitter avatar. Mm -hmm. So Mark, would you like to speak about the first? Sure. So the, the, the concept there is that on the on Jen the Jenkins.io site, we have a series of scrolling panels which appear right now, CD Foundation, and then GSOC 2020, and then there's one more panel currently welcoming people to contribute. The welcome to contribute and CDF panels are pretty much there all the time and should remain. The GSOC announcement fits very well for the timeline right now exactly. What we'd like to do is add one more panel which is an invitation to join Jenkins is the way for people to submit their story. So instead of three panels visible here, there would be four. Uh, one of the reasons for bringing it to governance is that that makes this, the initiative for Jenkins is the way very, very visible. We felt like the, the governance board should at least make a, a willing choice. Yes, this is a good thing to do. Yes, I think it's a good idea. It makes it really visible for instance, everybody sees now what Jenkins can be used for. That's a really a good idea, I think. And I agree, it's a wonderful idea. Robert, what do you think? Yeah, so plus one for me as well, Oleg, and, and I think Alyssa had already expressed her plus one previously. Yeah, so I'm just opening developer mailing list. We got some feedback here. So uh, plus ones from Tracy, Vlad, Marky, Baptiste, me, team. So yeah, no minus ones. Right. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I would say that it's approved unless somebody is against. Great. So I'll I'll go ahead. I've got a I've got to double check that the pull request is safe and clean and all those things. There was a there was a correction that Tim Jacome had detected needed to be made, or that might be possible. I so I'll let me do one double check on that before it gets merged. Okay. 
thank you, Mark. And, uh, yeah. and the way I'll confirm that I've finished that is I'll actually remove the on hold. Right mm -hmm. now, it's it's labeled on hold to remind people don't merge this until we get governance approval. Okay. So, uh, do we have a preview of the jump button from there? Uh, there is one. Yeah, it's inside okay. the pull request. Yeah. So, Jumbotron. Uh, yep. Yeah. We have we too go. many pull requests on the databases now. Yeah. Uh, just all problems. So, yeah, here's a current draft for the Jumbotron. We're looking for experience from Jinx users around the world, showcasing how they're building new plant and automating great software use Jenkins. Uh, and what about hardware? Yes, yes, you're right. I'm sorry, I didn't cover everything. I just used, I took the verbiage from their side initially. So that's a fair, okay. fair point. What about hardware? Good. So good I point. will start a new program about hardware and offer uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Jenkins t-shirts, right? <laughs> clearly, clearly Oleg is from the platform SIG. He's apparently been involved with hardware before. That's a good mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. And uh, to cover the previous discussion, I may even doctor a recommendation. But yeah. yes, yes, exactly. We yeah, we okay. have two doctors in this in this meeting. That's great. Okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thanks so much for doing that, and uh, yeah, let's keep it pushing. Another subject uh, about uh, Jenkins the way again is uh, Twitter. So if you look at our Twitter, uh, well, actually we are still using. Uh, Jenkins 2.0 image there. Yeah. So yeah, this image is yeah four years old or so, uh, like uh, Jenkins 2. So I guess it's definitely time to change the image to something. And the proposal from Alisa was to use uh, Jenkins the way image there. So Oleg, for for the benefit of the people on the call, could you open the artwork page so that we mm -hmm. could see the the image? I want to be sure that. That that people actually see the the image that's proposed. I think it's this one. There it is, right? Yes, that one. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the requests from the community was, "Hey, where's the SVG version of this?" And I don't think we have an SVG. So, if we need a high resolution version, it is not as high resolution as some of the other SVG formatted versions that are there. Uh, Mark, I. I think I sent you a high res uh, version. Yeah, you sent a high res EPS. Wait. EPS doesn't oh, doesn't you, have the same attribute that SVG does. That SVG, SVG is nearly infinitely scalable. It, okay. Well, yeah, let anyway, me ask for that. Yeah, anyway, we don't need a vector for Twitter. Oh, we don't. Okay, great. Yeah. So we can technically replace it by existing image. So it's rather a matter of feedback. Um, yeah. No, we appreciate opinions about it. Yeah, I'm plus one for the replacement. I think it's a it's a good update. Yeah, we could also add a hashtag here. For example, Jenkins the way on um, on the left after account name. Um, but uh, yeah, it's again a moment of how visible uh, this uh, campaign uh, should be and how far uh, we want to go. So plus one for me as well. And like I said, I'm hoping for, for us to continue to collect stories till the end of this year. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we will keep this image until the end of the year, but yeah, maybe one month or so would be reasonable. Mm -hmm. mm. Would appreciate but, uh, opinions. And, and I agree wholeheartedly that it's time to replace that avatar image with something else. I mm -hmm. like your notion of one month, one month on Jenkins is the way, and then we could revert it even to something simpler or to the the, the regular Jenkins logo. Yeah, I think a regular Jenkins logo by default, unless we have something else. Right, Jenkins 2.0 is a while ago. We're a nice long-lived project, but that's a, that's a long time ago. Okay. So, yeah, personally, I rather abstain in this story. Um, 
but uh, so Alisa mark uh, plus one, right? Yes, yes plus please. one for me. Uh, opinions? Yeah, I don't use Twitter, uh, but I'm okay with it. Okay. So, Cam, Oliver, should we wait for your feedback? Sure. Oops, I'm muted. Sorry. Yeah, I like the idea. Okay. So I guess we have a decision now. Um, let's, uh, do we have something in uh, the mailing list? Uh, okay, it went to advocacy and outreach. So also plus one for Marky here. So I guess it's approved. Uh, so uh, if for one month. So one problem here is about the implementation because currently the account is managed by Tyler. I have access, for example, to tweet deck. Uh, so I can uh, post tweets, same for Mark, for Marky, for Tracy, uh, but uh, we need uh, someone to really change the logo. So I guess it would be you, Alisa, who is about to reach out uh, to Tyler. Tyler, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it, thank you. Uh, thank you too. So, anything else about Jenkins of the way? That's it for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, I have a uh, subject about a uh, governance roadmap. I started submitting some uh, pull requests. For example, here I put a suggestion uh, to it, well, obviously, to 720 uh, governance portfolio officer elections to the roadmap. You have to do it according to our process. And um, the second item I suggest uh, to put to the agenda uh, to near term is core infrastructure initiative compliance. So core infrastructure initiative is a, um, uh, just a second, uh, it's a, a security certification which is uh, suggested by uh, Linux Foundation and continuous delivery foundation actively uh, adopts that. So what uh, core infrastructure initiative membership unblocks? Firstly, uh, access to targeted as my security sponsorship programs, like uh, security audit, etc. cetera. Uh, also um, um, access to tools. And moreover, um, currently CII becomes a part of uh, um, uh, continuous delivery foundation uh, requirements uh, to graduate CDF projects. So I think it would be a good thing for us uh, to be officially certified as core infrastructure initiative. Uh, there is some information about uh, this uh, best practices or bridge program, which uh, defines the requirements. And um, uh, the results um, um, in, uh, the current certification, I started an experiment uh, in January. So we are currently at 80% of the uh, checklist. Uh, so there are two major areas we need to address. Firstly, is to introduce a Jenkins Core Triage team, uh, which makes sense in any case, um, and which was one of the follow-ups uh, at our retrospective we had uh, related to LTS um, in the previous baseline. And another is security, but we mostly need to, to work with security team to clean up the questionnaire there and to ensure that we are all set, because I didn't really uh, spend too much time on this section. So we are close to completion, in my opinion, and it would be really beneficial to the project. So I would suggest to add it to the roadmap. Would everyone be fine with that? 
Yes, or, plus one for me. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So we have uh, plus one from Alex. Uh, Uli, Oliver, yep. what do you think? It's okay. Yes, I'm plus one. Yeah, sorry, I'm practically involved with the roadmap discussion, so I guess I will abstain for this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there is uh, no impact on the LCS process uh, in the CI certification. Uh, the only, sorry, the only roadmap is uh, triage of issues, which may help LCS for sure. Okay, so if everyone agrees, I will just measure that. Uh, also, there are two other pull requests. One is about uh, board elections. Another one is a uh, court of conduct candidates, which is uh, not ready really yet. So I'll probably postpone it. Um, and for uh, board elections, basically it's just restructuring of the page and some wording. So again, if everybody is fine with pull request, I suggest uh, to take a look asynchronously if you have some time. Uh, I would uh, like to merge sure that. It's just a preparation uh, for the roadmap as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it's for synchronous review so that we don't spend too much time in the meeting. Okay. If there is uh, no question it's about the roadmap and these items. I would move uh, a bit to governance documentation. Is it fine with everybody? Sounds good. Okay. Yes. So we have uh, two pages. Well, actually, we have a lot of uh, more pages, but there are two major points uh, which are currently on Wiki. One is approved trademark usage. And here, for example, we have uh, well, basically uh, a history of previous approvals. And this history is not complete because, for example, one month ago, I asked for trademark usage approval for Jenkins Rule. And I cannot really edit here because it's a protected page. Um, and uh, at that time, we agreed that I would follow up and to see how we could move it to Jenkins IO. And uh, yeah, this is basically uh, the today's agenda topic. Another similar page is commercial support, uh, which is companies providing various kinds of commercial support for Jenkins. Again, uh, this page, well, probably it's not protected, but definitely it's something which would make sense to move to the Jenkins IO website, maybe after some cleanup. Um, so in order to do that, uh, we need to have a process how we manage that because Jenkins IO is basically a shared resource. Um, uh, last week, uh, as a part of um, Jenkins IO copy editor onboarding, uh, we created a new maintainer guide and this maintainer guide explicitly documents what is uh, the ownership structure and uh, all documents uh, on the, the project are explicitly managed by the governance board. So my suggestion would be to say that um, this maintainer guide is enough to say that uh, the resource is uh, protected well enough and that we can uh, just move these pages to Jenkins IO without inventing new repositories um, and other things. So my proposal would be basically to move these pages to Jenkins IO so that uh, they would appear on the, um, the project section. So it's here. Uh, now we have governance documentation, the code of conduct, various board collections, um, and also some team descriptions. For example, uh, hosting team is documented here right now just because I didn't find a better place. Uh, and yeah, I suggest to basically move trademark information uh, there and other uh, things. So what do you think about that? I think, I think it's the right approach. Mm -hmm. I think it's comparable level of import uh, of value that we need those pages on Jenkins.io and mm -hmm. we need them under control of the governance board. And I think using the, the code owner's technique that you've used on Jenkins.io is sufficient and gives us a good history. Yeah, so speaking of code owners, we have uh, two bots. Uh, well, one is basically GitHub. We have code owners, and if there is any page within the project scope, 
uh, governance board will be automatically requested so that we will get notifications so that uh, if there is a pull request suggested. And also we have auto labeler, etc. So all pull requests which go against governance documentation, again, uh, they will uh, uh, have a um, governance label assigned to them. So you can subscribe to this uh, label, so you can just have a query and uh, um, access to this pull request. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of any cases where we've got a governance document, Oleg, that's not explicitly, a governance document on Jenkins.io that's not explicitly controlled by code owners? Well, uh, if we discover such a document, we will just add it here. Okay, good. So, uh, so there's a process. If if there's a gap detected, we just insert it into this definition file. Yeah, this process is quite simple. Uh, uh, just submit a pull request. Great. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to keep the things simple. So, if everybody is fine with it, I will just put the documentation there. Any feedback? I think it's a good idea. So plus one. But that's after for so for the support page, Oleg, that that's after we update that, right? Well, part oh. of the transition is to to bring it in and update it in the in transition process. I was assuming, Oleg, we can't alter the the existing read-only thing on wiki.jenkins.io. Uh, so commercial support uh, theoretically. Uh, I and Olivier have access to that, maybe Mark as well, well because we got uh, advanced access uh, to Jenkins Wiki as a part of uh, plugin documentation migration story. Uh, but uh, common contributors don't have access to this page. So for example, if, uh, let's say, Forest Technologies, well, this company doesn't really exist anymore, it was acquired. Uh, if they want to modify this page, they cannot. Right. So, yeah, by moving with Jenkins IO, we basically make it uh, possible again to at least submit updates. Maybe we need to build this page from scratch because, well, I know for sure that some companies are around, that some companies uh, would be willing to update. Uh, about some of them, I have no idea. Um, but, yeah, we could at least start that process. And uh, for me, a trademark use approval is more important. Got it. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other votes? Yes. yes, for me, plus one, yes. So I will just submit a pull request then. Uh, and if there are more votes, for example, from Alex Earl, then you can uh, call that uh, the decision is made. So I will target uh, three board member approvals here uh, to submit a pull request. Okay. And actually, that's it from the agenda. So, again, um, the same question as we had before. Um, the, uh, do we feel that uh, this format is okay, or whether we do we want to switch back uh, to IRC? I like it to see you, <laughs> at least. Well, wow. a couple of people I never seen, <laughs> so. Oliver, for instance, I uh, never seen it. So it's really nice to see each other. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for me, we a bit harder to do this on, on a regular basis. So, uh, but I guess I see the shift towards, um, um, towards, you know, I think channels for at least the areas where I'm active. So yeah, I probably won't be able to attend as often, but I'm not that much on the governance side anyway. So we can uh, try to make this uh, call even more synchronous 
I believe that it still makes sense to have uh, regular meetings um, just for some discussions, sync up, uh, so celebrating uh, wins in the Jenkins project. Uh, but yeah, we should uh, move for decision making uh, to async channels as much as possible. Okay. Oh yeah, I wasn't objecting to that. What I was referring to specifically was the LTS so baseline selection and the and the reviewing of the of the changes, which we essentially sort of moved uh, out of these meetings unless there is a special need. Right, and and that. The LTS baseline selection using its current process doesn't, if I remember correctly, doesn't actually have to come to governance. It's, it's entirely your call, Oliver, and that's great. So you don't actually have to be here for that. That's, I just brought it here because you have benefit that you're here. Thanks. Oh, yeah, for sure. Sorry, it's just the habit that haven't vanished yet. We've been doing it for years this way, and we changed the process, and even I failed to follow it. So that's where we are. Well, uh, we uh, continuously change the processes now. So, and hopefully we improve overall. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot uh, for driving the LTS changes. Mm -hmm. So, I think that it's perfectly fine to do it in sync mode. Uh, and uh, we have active discussions in the mailing list now. So I'm perfectly fine with how it happens. Okay, but yeah, it would be great uh, to communicate the decision to the developer mailing list uh, because um, yeah, some users uh, start uh, asking uh, what is the decision uh, on Wednesday. Uh, so historically, we rather announce it on Thursday. Uh, but yeah, if we could communicate it, it would be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else to discuss today? So the next meeting is uh, May 20th. I guess nothing is really blocking uh, this meeting from happening on this date. So I think we can just keep the usual schedule. Okay. So yeah, then thanks all uh, for your time and uh, looking forward to see you on the developer mailing list or in uh, other channels soon. Thank you, Oleg. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.